This is not at all unlike if I wrote this down. Has, was this explained to you like this yesterday? No. no. That's all this is. The radicals, as long as the radicand, the number underneath the, uh, the square root, matches, you can consider them like terms. So for a question like this, it's no different than 7x minus 10x. So 7 root 10 uh, minus, sorry, 7 root 2 minus 10 root 2 will actually just be uh, negative 3 root 2. That's it. So that, what's the name of the game today? The name of the game today is simplify the radicals, see what sort of radicals spit themselves out as being similar, and then you can add and subtract and combine them as they are like, like terms. That's it. So we're just using the skills from whatever day it would have been, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's a good you thing I don't... better binders. I better binders? Home. You could have just closed it the other way. It's a good thing that YouTube channels are not my day job because that was a lot of racket in the background there. So maybe you should get like a muffler and like a muffler. <laughs> okay, what about this one? Eight minus five plus twelve. Eight plus twelve is twenty. Take away five should be fifteen root sevens. Yeah. Can I simplify root seven? No, so we're done. Okay, if you could, then you would. Okay, but okay, that's right. It's prime, buddy. That's right. Okay, next one. This is a one thirteen plus three root thirteen uh, minus nine root thirteen. So three minus nine is going to be negative six plus one should be negative five root thirteen. This wasn't the worst thing. I don't know. Anyway, it's okay. If you are stressed, at least we can cut the stress level down. This is actually is not that bad. Okay? It's just your collecting like terms work that you've been doing for two years. It's just got this extra layer on it. Okay? Now, this is maybe where you might start getting a little stressed because they don't match anymore. But we learned skills on Wednesday to make that match. How can I write root 27? Trophy. 3 and 9? 3 and 9. Root 3 times root 9. Sure. Right? So I can get 2 root, oh, let's not do that. Let's do 2 root 9 times root 3. Okay? Root th 9 times root 3 is the 27 plus 5 root 3. I don't know how you show this better. It's okay. Listen, is that the worst? Listen. There's, you're going to encounter all sorts of different teaching methods, right? It's not the worst thing in the world for you to sit there and struggle with an explanation. You're trying to make connections. That's a very good exercise for your brain. Try and make connections with someone else's explanations, different ways of doing it, right? It's good for you, okay? All right. I think what makes me particularly good at this is because I had all the exact same problems that you have learning this for the first time. I've made all these connections, the same connections you're trying to make. That's, I think, why I'm relatively good at my job. Give or take a couple points from time to time. So we get 2 times 3 times root 3. OK? 2 times 3 is 6 root 3s plus 5 root 3s. What's that? 11 root 3s. Yes. All right. What well, the next one? Simplify both radicals. 2 root what? Oh, for the, that's the second one. What about for the 20? Root 4 times root 5? And then root 100 times root 5. Everyone happy with that? Okay. 
and then we can go that's 2 times 2 root 5 minus 10 root 5s which is 4 root 5s minus 10 root 5s Did you say it's hard to read? Sorry. No, I said I it's a lot of roots. Right? Oh, lots of roots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you prefer, you can write them like this. Mm, no. Mm, Too many no, I don't want to write that either. But. Okay, 4 minus 10 would be, oops, it's negative 6, root 5. Holy smokes. Probably not mine. Yeah, it is here. Okay, root 24, what is that? Two and twelve? Yeah. Are either of those two s nicely square rootable? No. No. Four. Four and what? Six. Four and six works, I think. Okay. So we get three times root four. You're thinking the right track. But hopefully you get to the point. If you said two and twelve, well, twelve would actually end up working out anyway. Because then you would you could simplify the twelve. Right, as root four times root three, which it would work out. It's just an extra line, right? Um, okay, we might need to conserve some space here because I don't know off the top of my head. Again, not because it's anything different. I just, I haven't seen the square root of 384, maybe ever. So we got a bit of a puzzle here to figure out. What are the two, radi uh, two radicals we can multiply together? Sonia? 64 and 6, good. <coughs> so we get 2 times, well, she might have done the homework last night. <laughs> this might be on her page. <laughs> How do you know that? <laughs> uh, 64, 4, really smart. We just did it on the fly, I don't know. And then minus, uh, what's root 96? Take it in there. No, no, it's yesterday's. Maroon one. Maroon one. Okay. Uh, Twelve. Is there anything bigger than eight and twelve? We'll figure. It's okay. Hey, listen. It's just finding the biggest one saves you a little bit of time. This doesn't mean that eight and twelve is not going to work. That's what is kind of nice about this, right? You can go eight times root twelve. Sorry, I know that got a little compressed there. What was the other one, Rachel? 16 and 6. 16 and 6? Does that work a bit bigger, Jacob? 32 and 3. 32 and 3 has to be square rootable. 32 is not nicely square rootable. That one, put you, that one would have put you in a jam. Uh, Rachel, what was it, 16 and 6 again? Yeah. So either of those would have worked, right? <coughs> Times root 6. Okay. And now we can go 3 times 2 times root 6 minus 2 times 8 times root 6. I mean, we should maybe had a clue what the root 6 is, but that's okay. Is everyone okay with that line? Okay, all I did was square root the nicely square rootable numbers. So we get 6 root 6 minus 16 root 6 minus 4 root 6. That looks like uh, negative 20 plus 6 should be negative 14 root 6s.